So the Watch Racing UK National Hunt Flat Race is next in and hopefully the voice will last all the way through the race this time. And the top one is Bobby Moore, Derek Hinton, King Queen, Darren Howes, with a side as Darren Thompson, Young Falcon, Alex Cherry, Arctic Dew, Thunderspark, Clockwork, Carl Aragante, It's All in the Hips, Joshua Sutherland, Jay Bone, Stu Gray, Montana, Paul Rhodes, and Samoan Eyes, Molliette Surfer. So, 10 then. Away they go. No obstacles to take a course in this. And Arctic Dew is the first one to show. It's across to the inside. Leads by about a length. The rest of them though queued up behind to take him on. There appears to be a great deal of pace on so far. And Arctic Dew still the leader, probably on sufferance, but now just being pushed along a little bit to assert in front as they can't pass the stands with a complete circuit to go and Arctic Dew is the leader the rest of them are very tightly packed indeed with just probably two to three lengths between the whole lot of them King Queen is just the back marker Arctic Dew is the clear leader by three to J Bone second and it's all in the hips and Bobby Moore with the River Silas after that one then Samoan Eyes Falcon is next to then Clockwork, Montana and King Queen just at the back. So Arctic G then with a lead of about two lengths and about a mile and a quarter still to rest. With Bobby Moore second and J Bone third, run up on the outside now Young Falcon making much closer order with a side that is also nicely placed. Clockwork towards the outside, it's all in the hips, is in mid div. And King Queen's got the rail. And the back two are Montana and Samoan Eyes bringing up the rear as they race towards the midway point. And Arctic Dew yet to be headed. Leads by a length of a tail to Bobby Moore second. Jay Bone is back in third. Leading up nicely on the outside there. Clockwork. Back marker. Just about Montana now. I'm just looking for a little bit of a way forward. He's going to try and come wide around the track. But Arctic Dew's lead is probably increasing now to four lengths. With Bobby Moore back in second. King Queen has crept through nicely on the inside of a third. And J Bone and Samoan Eyes, it's all in the hips. He's after that one. Pushed along now, River Scythers. Clockwork has lost his place as well. And Young Falcon and Montana towards the back so Arctic Dew then scrubbed along in front to keep the pace up leads by a couple and King Queen now coming through as a strong challenger in second and the complexion of the race could change shortly then as they've got just a little bit more than three and a half furlongs to go and the pace quickens and Arctic Dew it's a little bit in reserve on looks of things has now back, gone back into a two length lead again and King Queen now looks to be labouring Montana He's making good ground up the outside. Bobby Moore and Samoan Eyes are still there going well. It's all in the hips. He's trying to run on. But it's Arctic Dew. They're going to get to inside the final two. And Arctic Dew by about two. To Montana in second. Samoan Eyes in third. It's all in the hips. He's going to have to get going soon. And he's now starting to make some ground. But Arctic Dew's got first run inside the final furlong. Arctic Dew's in the lead from Montana and Samoan Eyes. It's Arctic Dew. Jock has to look to see where they are. Montana is closing with every stride. Arctic Dew needs the line. Arctic Dew's needing by about a half a length up towards the line. Arctic Dew takes him. Montana second. Samoan Eyes third. It's all in the hips was fourth. And Young Falcon was the last one to finish. Jockey was being a bit cagey there on the winner, Arctic Dew. Wins it by three quarters of a length to Montana in second. Samoa not for Paul Rhodes. Samoan eyes for Molliette Surfer was third. It's all in the hips for Joshua Sutherland fourth. And Bobby Moore for Derek Hinton was fifth. So Arctic Dew the winner for Thunderspark then.